Well, a decision by UK charity Save the Children to give former British Prime Minister Tony Blair its annual Global Legacy Award has unleashed a torrent of criticism. Many say it was undeserved, accusing him of leaving the country bankrupt while saying his legacy was nothing to celebrate. Many are highlighting Blair's role in Britain's 2003 Iraq War and his controversial business dealings in the Middle East. The former Labour leader, who is currently a key focus of a public inquiry into Britain's invasion of Iraq, received the honour on Wednesday. The spokesman said Blair had been chosen for the award on account of his work while serving as Prime Minister, including setting up the Department for International Development and hosting two G8 summits. Mr David Lawley, a political analyst and a documentary filmmaker, is joining us from our London studios to discuss this further. Mr Lawley, firstly, why has there been so much criticism in regards to the award? And uh, do you think this somehow discredits the Save the Children charity, as some have argued? Well, yes. I think the reason there's been so much criticism of, of, of this award, which is um, uh, clearly lunacy. I mean, it's very, very surprising. When you imagine that the Chilcot inquiry into the Iraq war has, still hasn't come out five years after it was started, and this is a war where for 10 years before uh, half a million children died in Iraq, even before the war had even started, with the sanctions, let alone the children that would have died in Iraq uh, since the invasion of 2003. And let's not forget all those children that are now still being born deformed and demaimed because of the depleted uranium that the Americans and the British used in their bombs particularly in Fallujah in western Iraq which co has caused much of the problems we're seeing today with ISIS so to start giving Blair awards from, a, from Save the Children um, uh, shows as you your second part of your question that Save the Children themselves should start to be looked at I personally will be writing to Caroline Miles, who is their CEO, CEO, to ask them what on earth they think they're doing. You know, I used to, I would have thought they were a respectable charity, but I see in her history, the CEO, she used to be working for American Express. I'm not suggesting that that in any way ma makes, uh, but it does draw conclusions that what on earth are they doing, giving someone like Blair, who's clearly still out, the jury's still out with the Chilcot Inquiry, giving him this award. Unbelievable. And there's also controversy around Mr. Blair's dealings and his business dealings with the Middle East, isn't there? Well, of course, yes. I mean, many of the countries that Blair has dealings with, uh, Kazakhstan, um, some of the um, yeah, other countries that he has had uh, dealings with, Gaddafi in the past, they don't have great human rights, um, uh, you know, abilities with children in the past themselves. So once again, yes, you're right. He does, we know he makes millions on the back of the Iraq war. You know, he has done, he was paid off by the Kuwaiti royal family, by JP Morgan, by some American banks. We went to Iraq for business, for oil, uh, for construction, for arms and for pharmaceuticals who all um, Blair has often taken cuts from from all sorts of places so to give him this award is unbelievable. Now some of the reasons that were cited for giving Blair was the, the award was because he allocated 0.7% of the GDP for aid overseas. Do you think that would be a, a maybe a point that could be positive uh, in his, on his side? Blair has often done things to try and make himself look good in the eyes of the public with his um, tremendous guilt trip that he has whilst we wait for this Chilcot inquiry to come out. He's continuously he gave a load of money to the British Legion from his book because of pressure from everyone when it first came out. There is, he is the most hated politician in this country and he keeps doing these um, groveling things and get, think, getting his friends in uh, higher places in banks and so on to give him awards. Uh, but it doesn't wash. No, no, nobody in this country is being fooled and we wait with bated breath to see what will happen if he does get criticised and I hope very much that all the media uh, will come down heavily and some of these awards may even be taken back when they realise that we um, uh, had a former Prime Minister who is a walking war criminal with the morals. I mean it does show Tony Blair's morals to accept some kind of award like that as well. Uh, with the lives of those lost in Iraq and the families destroyed and the children destroyed since then, the morals of the man are totally questionable. And what do you expect to come out of this hearing against Tony Blair? Uh, the Chilcot Inquiry, well, that's what we wait to after five or six years to hear. But I do hear, and you do hear reports every so often, that um, Chilcot has criticised him. Now, back in the Hutton Inquiry, when the BBC were criticised, you will remember that the head of the BBC and the CEO at the time was, had to resign, and a lot of the heads role at the BBC. 
So if they criticize Blair, what does that mean? The edifice will crumble and we'll start to see a, a massive uh, look into the whole dealings and the corruption that went on in the, in, the, in the business world that was, of course, the invasion of Iraq, because we know that they went there on a lie. It's been proved there were no weapons of mass destruction, as well as the lies like the dodgy dossier where um, Blair said that the evidence for uh, weapons was extensive, detailed and authoritative, when in fact he was being told it was patchy and sporadic. So we know the man was telling lies in the House of Commons and to the country and then making millions on the back of it, whilst children, children were being killed in Iraq. Yes. So, yes. Mr David Lawley, a political analyst and documentary filmmaker, thank you very much for joining us from our London studios. Thank you.